Here are my favorite launch facilities in Maryland, and I'm gonna tell you why I like each one and what's the best thing to fish for from each spot. All right, what's up everybody? Today I'm gonna to talk to you about the different launch facilities around Maryland that I love to use and the places that I go once I launch from there. Most of these are focused around Southern Maryland where I fish and I live, but there's one up in Northern Maryland that I think a lot of people are familiar with, but I wanna make sure people understand how great of a launch facility it is. Order number one is gonna be Solomon's Island boat ramp. Now Solomon's Island boat ramp is literally right underneath the Solomon's Island bridge and there's tons of parking, two ramps, and it's actually recently redone around 2020, 2021. Um, and it's just a great facility just because there's tons of parking, deep water at the ramp, the ramps aren't too steep. Um, and it's a really good place to go out and go fishing. So from Solomon's, you can go to so many different places. You can go upriver and go crabbing, or you can go fishing. You can go all the perch fishing and stuff like that. And there's a ton of restaurants around there too. But then you can leave Solomon's, go left, go out towards the mouth, and be in some of the most pristine, beautiful waters across the bay in the Honga River and on the eastern shore. I mean, that Solomon's boat ramp cannot be beat, I think, in Southern Maryland for its ease of action access right off of Route 4 and how quickly you can get to different areas of the Southern Maryland waterway. I really love it, um, but there is one big drawback. The biggest drawback is everyone else loves it too. So on a weekend, it is packed. When I used to launch my boat there, I would avoid Saturdays and Sundays at all costs just because of how busy it would get. Like it just wasn't even worth it to go out there. So, you know, if you're someone who only boats on the weekend, plan on arriving super early or getting there, you know, around 11, 12 o'clock when most people have gone out and before most people come back and it should be a better experience. But, you know, besides that, and you're going to see a lot of boat ramps like this, besides that, it's a great place to go out of. The second place I'm going to talk about is Sandy Point. And I think Sandy Point is probably one of the most iconic um, launch facilities in state parks in all of Maryland. And because of that, it gets a ton of traffic. If you can get to Sandy Park early, Sandy Point State Park early on the weekdays or early on the weekends, you have a chance of getting in there and not dealing with too much traffic. But during the summer, it can fill up so fast because it's got that huge beach right there on the Chesapeake Bay. People like recreating and fishing and, and you know doing all that kind of stuff right there on that beach and it just piles up. Now, I think they've made a fast pass for you to be able to get in there quickly if you're towing a boat, but you, know, you still can't beat the fact that that launch facility is one of the best in all of Maryland and it puts you at some of the best fishing right there at the Chesapeake Bay Bridge for striped bass. You can go up a little bit further and go catfishing and everything is just right there and it's so central to the Severn River to go out and go see you know downtown Annapolis or even the South River to visit some of those um, you know iconic crab houses and stuff on the South River or shoot over to Rock Hall or other areas on the Eastern Shore that is just an awesome place to go and check out. So now the third one is another state park. It's going to be Point Lookout State Park. Now Point Lookout State Park is literally at the farthest south point of Maryland. It's a rural area, but just like Sandy Point State Park, it gets a ton of visitors. And on a weekend, there can be lines out onto the main road from the state park, but it's worth it. The launch facility, the boat launch facility is really amazing down there. It's not as good as Sandy Point State Park, but it's still an amazing launch facility. And it puts you out in some of the best fishing that the Chesapeake Bay has to offer for striped bass in the winter, for you know speckled trout and redfish in the summer, for going out and finding bigger redfish and cobia in the Chesapeake Bay in the you know late summer and early fall. I mean, it really can be some of the best fishing around in the Chesapeake Bay, but it's also some of the biggest water the Chesapeake Bay in Maryland has to offer. So if you're going down there and you're launching out of Point Lookout, make sure you're prepared. Make sure you have a boat that's going to fit that area. You know, 20 feet is kind of that minimum for me, and make sure you understand what the weather is going to be like when you're down there because it can turn so quick. I, the next one, number four, is going to be Piney Point Boat Ramp. Now, Piney Point Boat Ramp, I think, is one of the best kept secrets in all of Southern Maryland, especially. Um, a lot of St. Mary's County boat ramps are free of charge, and Piney Point is no exception. It's got about 20 to 25 parking spots, and it puts you out right by St. George Island. It's about a 14-mile um, trip down to Point Lookout, and you can also fish upriver the Potomac too. So I love it because it's close to my house. There's two different ramps. The ramps are in good shape. You know, everything's in really good shape. And 
it puts me in some of the best fishing in, in all of Southern Maryland, I think. So if you're looking for kind of a smaller ramp um, on that part of the Potomac, you can't go wrong with Piney Point. And the fact that it's free and all the other ones that I've mentioned so far have varying fees really puts it in there in the top. Now, if you notice, all the ones that I've said so far have been government owned ones. You know, Thomas Island is owned by Calvert County. The other two, Sandy Point State Park and Point Lookout State Park are both state parks. And Piney Point Boat Ramp is owned by the county of St. Mary's County. But the last one's a private one. And not only is it a great place to launch out of, the people that run Buzz's Marina, and that's going to be our fifth one, are some of the best people on the Chesapeake Bay. So if you're looking for somewhere to launch that's not a public facility, that's a private one, go to Buzz's Marina, especially if you're looking to fish Southern Maryland. Not only is it a great ramp, um, and there are actually two ramps there, not only great ramps and plenty of parking and things like that for you to go, um, the people that work there, the people that own the place, Christy and Mike, are absolutely amazing people and will tell you exactly where the fish are if you ask. So don't be shy. Go up to him and say, hey, Mike, where are the fish biting today? And he'll give you all the information he has so you can be successful out there. And I think that's something that is super important right now. I know that we feel like we can get all the information we want from you know the internet, but having that real life eyes and ears to the ground, kind of eyes and ears in that location can make a make or break your fishing day. So make sure you go check out Buzz's as well because I highly recommend them. I don't know how many times Mike has saved a day of fishing for me um, when I would be going out there and I had one plan and he's definitely given me some intel that made it so my plan got adjusted just a little bit and really truly made that day. So make sure you check them out as well. All right, so hopefully this helps you out a little bit and get some ideas of where you can launch your boat in Southern Maryland if you're looking to fish. And also don't forget about Sandy Point State Park right there in Anne Arundel County too.